sana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Tunaweza kaa tu. Unajua mimi ni mwalimu. Eh? Na eh, to introduce lesson tulikuwa tunauliza maswali ya jana. Lakini before then waja niseme I want to thank the, the Lord for this opportunity that he has given me to share his word. And I also want to thank and appreciate our leaders, our reverends, for allowing us to share this platform. Najwa, it is not easy. Now it is, you, can, you don't give your inner room. Hata watu wa siyasa wanasema, kama wakati wa kibiru olisikia, wakisema ni bedroom ya nani? Ya raila, eh? na hata wana upewi rusa kuingia ovyo wengine wakaenda njana nikasikia wengine walikuwa bedroom mwingine so it is not easy to allow somebody to get into your bedroom because that is where your secrets are all the dirty things unafikiri na kuanga safi mwenyewe ndiye anajua vitu nyingi ziko hapo ambavyo havistahili kuonekana lakini i thank god that uh, our pastors and our reverends have allowed us to share in this grace of sharing the word of God. Uh, my name is Magnes Musia. Na mini hii kanise membarikiwa sana. Unasikia tuko Magnes wengi. Please, ukinua mkono utasikia kuna mungine. And we thank God because it's a name that has a lot of grace. And uh, we are going to share and partake on that grace because the Lord has given us that opportunity. Uh, I'm saved. I love the Lord as my personal savior. I have a family. My husband, I love him so much. He loved me. So, imagine Nairobi akafuata msichana mwingine ambao unajua ukambani watu walikuwa naenda na slippers eh? na kwa sababu kuko very dry ukiangalia hiyo miguu imekatika katika vumbi kila pali lakini yeye hakuona hiyo vumbi he knew that he had been called to to help kusafisha kusaidia si apate wale wameundwa sawa lazima hata yeye aunde Kwa hivyo kiona vyaelea vya vimefanya nini? Vimeundwa. So vijana na wasichana wako hapa. Unajua hiyo sio preaching lakini nataka kuwasaidia. Usitafute vile vimeundwa bwana asifiwe. Tafuta yako ukaunde. Kwa sababu hiyo ukitafuta yako uunde ndio itakupatia value. Sawa? Eh usikalie wale wameundwa tu kivikiri alafu anza kujinyonga wakati wamekulet down eh unaanza kunywa sumu na wewe mwenyewe uliangalia wale wenyewe walikuwa wamesafishwa eh, utaki kufanya kazi unajua hiyo ni spirit of laziness eh? Eh, you are lazy eh? unaangalia watu naona tu wamengarangara na ujui walianza kungara wapi wewe unafikiria hao ndio unapita nao Ujui kuna mwingine aliplani na labda alifanya covenant na Mungu kitambo. Sasa wao wanaanza kunyakua eh. Saingine faith inatundanganya that you can occupy somebody's house but the Bible tells us unless you cannot enter into a strong man's house unless you bind that person. Sawa? So work for yours. The Lord will bless you. Let's pray. Precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we want to bless you this morning. We want to thank you for your faithfulness and for your mercies upon our lives. Lord, you have allowed us to be in this place because you have something with us, O God. You want to speak unto our hearts and you want to lift us up, O King of Glory. We are not faithful, but we depend upon you, King of Kings, because you are ever merciful. When we are not faithful to you, you remain as faithful unto us. And this morning, Lord, we surrender to you. Lord, I have no words of my own, and I have no words to, to share with your people. May you fill me with your word. 
May you feel me, King of Glory, that God Almighty, I'll give that will give life unto the hearers. And the grace that you have poured upon me, King of Glory, I want to release it to the hearers. The Lord will bless us together. We honor you and we bless you because you are God. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release healing upon the sick. I release lifting up upon those who are downcast and heartbroken, oh dear Father. Every hurting in our lives, oh Jehovah God, I pray the Lord, you will minister unto each one of us this morning. Reach every family, reach every individual in this place, oh God Almighty, even as you speak to each one of us. I bless you and I honor you because you are God who is ever faithful. We love you this morning and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have prayed and uh, perhaps ata unajua nilitafuta umeambiwa kutafuta kusimama hapa si rahisi. Na Biblia iko na iko na vitabu vingi. Na iko na a lot of stories. Lakini to get a story to share it is not easy. But I want to thank God because the Bible tells us that uh, when we come together, the purpose of, a, of God's people coming together is to give testimonies and to sing and to, to read the Psalms. One as if you we have had a testimony which has encouraged each one of us that the Lord is our healer and he can still heal you. So you can receive your healing because already you have been told, reminded that he is our healer and he can heal. The worshippers were here. We have sung. Our hearts were melted before the Lord. So already we have been ministered to. The only thing that now I'm coming to do is to take that part of sharing a psalm with you. One as if you You know, psalm, see, la simo some kutoka kwa kitab cha psalms. See, So, now, I want us to go to the book of Testament. Because Wakati unataka kusoma neno lao, unatavuta kile kina kupatia furanda ni yako. Kuna tunasema, uh, the Lord will bless you, will increase you. Hiyo nita reside every day. Because that is the, the, the way that I want us to go. That I want to go. But you know the Lord's ways are different from our ways. And his thoughts are far above our thoughts. So, this time, I, I was given a chapter, a, a book that even hata nikisoma, sijui kama ninaelewa ama sielewi. But uh, at the end of it all, we will know what the Lord wants us to, to do. Bana sifiwe sana. So we are reading from the book of Judges, chapter 6. I know you know the story already. Now I'm going to read from the book of Judges. Let's read the book of Judges, chapter 1, chapter 6, sorry, that we are reading. Okay. Paraphrasing, this, the, this is the story of Gideon, his calling, and how he served the Lord during his time. It is a story that you can read from chapter 6 to chapter 8 to get the complete story. And to get the final, the ending. But we are going to get somewhere. We are just going to get what the Lord wants us to get today. So we are reading from chapter 6 from verse 1 to 16. It says, The Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. And for seven years, he gave them into the hands of the Midianites because the power of the Midian was so oppressive. The Israelites prepared shelters for themselves in the mountain cliffs 
caves and strongholds. Whenever the Israelites planted their crop, the Midianites, Amalekites, and other eastern people invaded the country. They camped on the land and ruined the crops all the way to Gaza and did not spare a living being for Israel, neither sheep, nor cattle, nor donkeys. They came up with their livestock and their tents like swarms of locusts. Uh, it was impossible to count them or their camels. They invaded the land to ravage it. Midian to impoverish the Israelites that they cried out to the Lord for help. When the Israelites cried out to the Lord because of the Midian, he sent them a prophet who said, this is what the Lord, the Lord, the God of Israel says, I brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. I rescued you from the land of the Egyptians and delivered you from the land of all your oppressors. I dropped them out before you and gave you their land. I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not worship the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live, but you have not listened to me. The angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in opera that belonged to Joash, the Abiarite, where his son Gideon was rushing wheat in a wine presser to keep it from the Midianites. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied. But if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now, the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hand of the Midianites. The Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength you have and save Israel out of the Midian, Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? Pardon me, my Lord. Gideon replied, But how can I save Israel? My clan is weakest in Manasseh and I have I am the least in my family. The Lord said, I will be with you and you will strike down all the Midianites, leaving none alive. 17. Gideon replied, If now I have found favor in your eyes, give me a sign that, that it is really you talking to me. Please do not go away until I come back and bring my offering and set it before you. And the Lord said, I will wait until you return. One as if you. Uh, this is a story that each one of us knows. Wale wamesikia. Hata kama ulisoma shule. Kwa zababu ni lazima usome juu ya judges. Ulisoma na ukavanya mutiani kuhusu judges. So you can give the story. But there are, there are some things that the Lord wants us to read. To, to get from the story. Of Gideon. Bwana Sifiwe. The first thing, before I took this Bible, the first Bible that I read, uh, the last verse of chapter 5, in Asema, and the, and the Israelites were, were stayed in peace. I, let me read that part. In Asema, the last part, chapter 5. Asema, verse 31. So they all, their enemies, okay, then, then the land had peace for 40 years. One as if you Then the land has had peace for 40 years. So we are seeing a scenario where before the, the call of Gideon, Israel had enjoyed a lot of peace. 
We know the story of the Israelites. How their lives were up and down. And that is like the life of a Christian. That you cannot, you, Christianity is not a straight line. Nobody will lie to you at ukiokoka maisha yako itakuwa saa, utakuwa natembea eh, kwa iji tambarare kila siku. Kuna milima, kuna maponde, na yote ni ya kukunjenga ili ukaweze kuwa unaweza kumuamini mungu saidi. Na kwa hivyo hapo mbele tunaona hii inji atujui ni kutoka wapi, but the last part there inatuambia they had enjoyed peace for 40 years. And for 40 years, that's almost a, ni watu wengi. Hata hapa yule akona 40 years, ukimuangalia ni mutu akona jamii yake. Hata na wanjuku, wengine wakona wanjuku. Sidio, kwa hivyo hivyo enamanisha nini? Si mutu mdogo. Kwa hivyo, ni wakati walikuwa na wakati wakusanya na kuweka mali yao. Wakanjenga manyumba. Wakanunua mali, wakakuwa na ngombe, na kondo, na, na, na iso ndange isu, wanaongea juu yake, na kuku, na vitu vyote na kakuwa na chakula kwa mangala. Kwa hivyo, si watu walikuwa na shida. Lakini, shida liingia kwa sababu, wakati umungu aliwapatia na wakakusanya hii mali yote, walimsa umungu. Na, hapo mbibulia na tuambia, the Israelites, first one, the Israelites didn't evil in the eyes of the Lord. Baada ya kupewa hiyo na fasi, Kama vile bwana ametupatia na fasi Kenya. Mara nyingi tuna enjoy. Kuna lot of peace. Tukona amani. Eh? Ispokuwa wakati huwa corona labda mambo iliaribika. Lakini kwa kawaida Kenya tumekuwa na amani nyingi. Na tumekuwa na wakati wa kusanya mali. Tunaweza kuwa tumeweka mali nyingi. Tumejenga manyumba kwa sababu kukona amani. Lakini... Ni nini we umetenda wakati huo Mungu amekupatia hiyo amani? Wakati huo Mungu amekupatia hiyo grace, hiyo nafasi ya kunjinjenga. Ulinjinjengo kanunua ngari na ukasahau kama kuna kitu kingine mtu anastahili kufanya. Ukasahau kama unaweza unatakikana kulipa tithe. Ukasahau kama kuna watu ambao wanatahitaji msaada wako wale hawana kitu. Ukakuwa umejikusania kila kitu na ukanjiwekea Kwako aukosi, lakini kwa wengine awana na kwako. Najua nikiuliza kama sahi, nimewambia mini mwalimu. If I ask, kama leo kuna mtu kwake hakuna unga, kunai. Na hata juu kama hataipata. Na hata wacha tuongea juu ya unga. Unajua naongea juu ya unga because unaweza kushido kununua unga, wendo ukapime maana hiko ya kupima. Ukute hata hakuna. Na mchele atuongea juu yake maana mchele sio nyingi. Lakini kwako, kuna ile expiry date yake ni kesho. Now, after kesho, what will you do it? Utaifanyia nini? Si utaenda kutupa. Na wakati umetupa na ule alilala jaa. Because you konayo. Are you still serving the same God? Na wea unaona kama hiyo kitu wa imukasirichi mungu? Unajua marengine tunaona dhambi ni kitu ile kikubwa kuwa. Kabda uvambi siku kuwa sio hiyo, sio ule mtu ameua. Wakati unatenjua wewe umeitwa na mungu na you have been saved. Na uko na uwezo. Na uwezi katoa mali yako kwa njili ya wale wanateseka. Ujue badu umesabiwa kama yule muwaji. Auna tofauti mbele ya mungu. Because you know what is right and you are not doing the right thing. Mianza kukata. Now, so they did what was evil before the side of the Lord. Na dhambi inachukisha mungu. Na mutu, mungu, mutu yeyote akitenda dhambi, buwana mungu anakilia ngadhabu yake kwake. Na so, ngadhabu ya mungu wapa ilikuwa, yeah, kwa sababu meme, you have accumulated a lot of wealth, you have accumulated a lot of riches, you have lived a comfortable life, you have not, nothing to worry about. Now, I want you now, I want you to turn to me. God wants your attention. And if you don't turn to God freely, he will force you to. 
And so he forced the Israelites this time to turn to him. For seven years, they were, they were oppressed them by the Midianites. Kwa miaka saba, waliteswa. Eh? Imagine, sasa, kila siku tunaona story ya laikipia, vile watu wanawawa. Nawa ni wakenya kwa wakenya. Sasa imagine, Somali wachilio ingile huku, na ngombe zao, na, na Uganda. Umepanda maindi yako, kama jana yuko naona ingine hapa kwa TV. Mutu wamepanda kukona mboga, smart, na ngombe zimepitia hapo, sinakula. Na leo sinakula, unapanda kesho, sinakula, kesho kutwa, sinakula. Baka sasa inakuwa, even you, your own life is at risk. So we see, waliacha kuishi kwa manyumba yao, na wakaenda kuishi wapi kwa caves, kwa sababu ya mateso, kwa sababu ya Wengi sasa sai pia sisi tumefungwa kama wana wa Mungu. We are oppressed by many things. These oppressions, the things, the challenges that you are going through are not to destroy us. Lakini sitatua, they will destroy us if we are not we we we, we don't work in urgency. Unajua kwa miaka saba, wangeona mwaka wa kwanza wamekujo wa karibu. Wapili wa karibu. Watatu wa karibu. Wangemulilia mungu wakati uo. Si mungu bado walikuwa naona. God still sees what you are going through. But there is nothing God can do because he will not work by force. He wants you to tell him what you want him to do. He wants you to turn to him. He wants you to, to turn he wants to get your attention. Umunge ukie na umuambia buwana pale mefika. Mimi siwesi ni naitaji msaata kutoka kwako. And it is until the time they cried to the Lord that the Lord sent help to them. Buwana sifiwe. The same today. Unless you cry to the Lord, there is no help. If you cry to your brother, he will not help. Eh, ata kusaidia leo, kesho nitasema, ay, na huyo amezoea. Unaona? Because our help is not supposed to come from man. Our help comes from the Lord. And it can only come from the Lord if we tell him what we want. He already knows what you want, but he wants you to tell him. Si uko na mdomo, si umuambie. Wana sifiwe. Lakini utamuambia sangabi, Na wewe hile kamba ni tukonayo. Eh? Ni hile ya Psalms 1. Eh? You, you know in Psalms 1, the Bible says, Blessed is the man who does not sit in the council of the ungodly. We as children of God, many times we keep companies that are not ungodly. Those are the people, utasikia watu wakisema, Hai, unajua wakovu si unjinga. Sasa wewe unaenda unafaa, unakukona chama hata ikona wa islam. Na siya hati unawaumbiru. Lakini ukonoa kwa sababu pese yao labda ni raisi kupata. Because you... Oh. Because your focus is what you are going to get. The benefit that you are going to get. Not what you want to do for the Lord. Wana sifiwe. So when they cry to the Lord, the Lord sent a prophet to them. And this prophet came and reminded them of the things that they had not done. Of the things that they had, not, they had forgotten. Do you know why? That time there was no Holy Spirit. And the, the law of the Lord had not been written in their hearts. Because the Bible says, after that the Lord said what? He will write his law in our hearts. And today, we as students of God, we have the Holy Spirit who will remind us of all the things. Even when you are doing wrong, we know already we are doing wrong. But for them, they were living by the word of the mouth, direct from the prophet. Lakini kwa 40 years, kama prophet anja kuja kwa wakungusha, si wamesau. So, wanaanguka kwa dhambi. Lakini iyo haikuwa kisingisio cha kukataa kumuita mungu, lakini mungu aliwasame na katuma proveti kwao. 
Now when the prophet came, he reminded them of the things that they had not done. Yale mambo wako wametenda. Ya kwamba kubukeni. Hii hinji. Hii hinji. Amuku ipata kama haina watu. Na the first thing if you look at the story. Hapo mbele utaona. These Amalekites. Uh, the, the Midianites. Were still there. Before the. During the time of Moses. And uh, Moses was told by God. To commission, to command people, Hanami, to go and destroy them. When they went, they were told to destroy them. They never destroyed all of them. Waliua wanaume, lakini wakabeba wanawake na watoto. Wakafikia musa kakasirika. Wakambiwa, wale wanmama wameza. Na wale wasichana wa, wame, wame, sio virgins, au wato wa wawe. Lakini badu, the spirit is never killed. Walibaki wasichana. Lakini roo, hiyo yao, ya idolatry, haikufa. So they are the same people who now came and introduced the Israelites again to idolatry. Bwana sifiwe. But they were reminded and the essence here was to repent. And I believe they repented. Because it is after their repentance that the Lord sent Gideon. The Lord sent an angel to Gideon. We have seen that. So Israelites cried to the Lord because of the Midianites. And God sent them a prophet who reminded them of the things that they were supposed to do. Today, we have the power of the Holy Spirit. He is reminding us that as children of God who have been called by God, we have not been called to sit idle. Atikasi yako kila zani kuja chaji na kuka. There is a lot of work that you are supposed to do to bring people to the kingdom of God. Witnessing does not need a platform like this. That's why tunakuja kushare Psalms, eh? Because I'm reminding you. Witnessing it is out there. People are out there who are waiting to be told the word of God, to be preached to. And who is going to preach? You and me. Ni wangapi wiki wameleta mtu moja kwa kristo? Wewa umembiria mtu wakatuna, jana juzi ya kaokoka. We have taken it as it, sisi tuliokoka na kwa hivo, hiyo ni shinda yao. That's not what we have been called to do. So, many times because we are also disobedient, our sufferings at the times may be because of our sin. And the, the first thing that we need to do is, is to repent and turn away from that even if it is idleness, even that, 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 that fear of not associating with the sinners. Lakini the attitude we have at the times, ni ngumu. Kwa sababu, we look at them and we see these are sinners. Ato kiwaona ni wenye dhambi. You know that is your brother. That is your sister. That is your mother. That is your father. You cannot live without them. I'm still your friend. Members of Constant are your friends. They are not family members. And friends change. Blood is thicker than water. So, kuwa kama uyo, 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 uyo rich man, even though he was selfish, aliomba brothers yake na watu wakua wakambiwa neno la mungu. Watu muwe prophet, eh? waka, waka njuo kweli, wasingie pale yuko. Do not desire to enter heaven alone, leaving your brothers and sisters there. Because, of our own attitudes. The Bible tells us, so Gideon, Gideon at first did not want to acknowledge the, their faults, but when he acknowledged and returned to the Lord, the Lord sent him. Because it is very hard or it is very easy for us to overlook what we do, our faults. 
we don't want to be accountable. Lakini we can account about the, other, the lives of other people. Tunajua wale wanatenda maofu sana. Lakini yale tunatenda aiko kwetu. Unaona? Atuko na mira. Mira yetu atuoni awa image. Tunaona image ya wale wengine. And that's why the Bible tells us in the book of James. Because of this, we may not be able to, to get our prayers answered because of the attitude of our hearts. God wants us to, James 4, 3, oh my James 4, if you read chapter 4, God wants us to go to him in his sincerity. Open. Because he knows everything. Gideon hakuona kama mungu anawajua Lakini when they were told what they had done, he realized that there is nothing that is hidden before God. Our lives are bare before God. What we do, what we think, what we imagine is bare before God. And these things, unless we deal with them, they will hinder our prayers. So when we come to God, we should not hide anything. We should be sincere and tell him who we are and what we are. Because we want to agree with him that we are the kind of people that he sees us we are. And he will make us what he wants us to, to be. Because he's the one who has the power to make us. We cannot make ourselves. Remember salvation is by grace. It is not out of good works. It is not because we are hard working. Eh? No, it is just by grace. Even yule anja okoka, we kwanza likuwa mbaya kumuliko. Mimi nilikuwa mbaya kumuliko. That's why God alikukimbilia kwanza. Remember, God is not pleased and death of a sinner. Na kwa sababu alikupenda, akaona andilu na wewe kwa? Kwanza. Kwa sababu wewe ulikuwa worse than the others. Eh? So he saved you first. So that by using your life, the others may turn to him. Unajua mimi kwetu hata wetu, kwetu sayi, what to testify, even my own children. Sengina wanashindo, wanambua mamenu alikuwa mkali. Nilikuwa mkali. Nilikuwa aggressive. And I used to fight a lot. But you know why? Even if I, I, I justify myself, I could write, but that is what they, they don't understand. I had nobody to fight for me. And I, I never knew that time that God can fight for me. You know? You know, fight your mungu siyo physical, siyo ni, not times you need that physical to deal with that enemy there and then. So, kama wakatuo sikuwa ni meokoka, Nitangojea mungu gani wakudilu na enemy there and then. I needed to, do, to equip myself. And I fought a lot with the boys. Not with the girls. I, I was fighting with the boys. You know, kacha nimbaya. Kacha nimbaya, eh? Because saingine wanakuangalia wanaona you are not worthy to be where you are. You are not worthy to be what you are. You need to be a ball. And you cannot allow yourself to be a ball kicked here and there by everybody. <laughs> so you have to fight for your survival. So I fought for myself until the Lord changed my life. And he has been fighting for me. I allowed him to fight for me. Sinja wife pigana tena. Sasa hata, as I loved him, wangu angekuwa na shinda kubwa sana. <laughs> so when we allow God to fight our battles we will enjoy victory we will enjoy victory because when Gideon allowed God to enter into their case and accepted his call then God came in and he fought for them 
in the in the in the book of Matthew so we are dealing with God one God may not answer our prayers because our relationship with him is not clear and again when we go to him we go with in a lot of hypocrisy we are not open to him and our relationship with the man our fellow friends our wives and our husbands our children our neighbors god wants them we 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 live with them with a lot of accountability knowing that in the book of ephesians chapter 2 that salvation is by grace not by works and anybody is a candidate of salvation so you are sa being saved it does not give you a a half a hand on other human being am other people you are still supposed to know that they are candidates of salvation and god can use them philippians chapter 2 verse 3 God tells us that we should count others better than we are. Bwana asifiwe. So that even when we are dealing with the family conflict, conflicts, we are able to understand one another. Even when we are bringing up our children, we are able to understand one another. Kama sasa hii watoto wametupatia shida sana. Lakini shida ya watoto ni sisi wazazi. Kwa sababu even when we are bringing them up at the times we don't agree. Mmoja anapembeleza sana. Mwingine anaitana ndadi, mwingine anaitana kamam. Alafu when I know that one has done wrong I will not share with him. Nitamufunikia mtoto staki baba ajue because mothers ndio wanafanya hiyo staki baba ajue baba kwa kijue atakuwa mbaya alafu unaficha unaficha alafu mioto ikianza kuwaka saa hii everything comes up to the open and you are all suffering bwana asifiwe let's allow god to teach us on how to bring up our children that we will teach them the right things the right things the way of the lord sisi mimi kama mwalimu hakuna watoto wakati nilifundisha mtoto nikamwambia 2 plus 2 is 5 because i cannot teach the child the wrong thing siwezi fundisha mtoto wrong method I will always want this child to get the correct answer, the correct thing. Eh? And that's why when you allow you teach the child the right thing, when this child grows up, he will know. Even if he walks away, the right things that you taught him, they will remind him, you don't belong here. You don't belong here. There will be always a voice ringing in his life. Chukua watoto wengine kama watoto lakini kwa sababu sasa mara nyingine we are not appreciative of others then our children no learn not to appreciate we do not appreciate even how selves in our homes the children do not learn to appreciate other people maana wanawaona wao ni wachini wakienda secondary school wanaona cooks ni wachini wanaona catresses ni wachini there is nothing in school that can benefit them lakini remember the, we are, they are there for a season do we tell them that you are not there forever do we share with them that that they are not unajua mimi sasa hizi na mtoto mdogo lakini niko na wajukuu na and I'm anticipating to get more wajukuu so i'm supposed to be i'm still suffering kwa sababu hao wajukuu wangu si watapata mabwana kwa hao watoto wanachoma shule. Eh, hata kama ni wazuri. Wewe is your is your life limited to Do you know you can choose not choose a wife or a husband to your child? Sisi tulisengine wangetupangia. Una directive anaambiwa hiyo family ni nzuri eh. Unaweza tafuta hapo. 
Lakini sasa sisi atuwezi wambia because even us, we are meeting here and we don't know one another. We unatuona hapa, unafikiria the matters are very good. Lakini diuna, perhaps they are good as friends. They are not good as in-laws. Those are two different things. Eh? You is, I'm good as your friend. I may not be as good as your in-law. So, even if you choose yours, umambie, unajua huko kuna vijana, ni sawa tu. Lakini, what part have you played to bring up these children to accept what they will get there? Let's prepare our children in a wider... Unajua hii ni service, lakini service ni tuna service. Okay, so... So the Lord wants us to count others better than we are before blaming others. So the things are, which are happening in our lives, we should be able to, to, to tell, ama to count what have I contributed to every issue that, has, that I'm passing through. One as if you were. Gideon gave ex excuses of serving God just as we, we have given even today. Ukiulizwa kwa nini uwezi kakuja maombi asubui? Utasema ni nini? Wengu wetu hapa watuna watoto wadogo. Lakini uwezi kakuja maombi saa tatu. Na unataka mungu wa kuponye. Na unataka mungu aendeleze hiyo biashara. Na unataka mungu a provide hunger. Unataka mungu wa kuponye. Sasa wewe utaomba siku ngani. Na unajua sandi hiyo saa tatu ni better. Kwa sababu wiki days in Kenya they are full of a lot of stress. You don't even get time. Wana sifiwe. Lakini tukikuambia ukuja maombi saa subui saa tatu sandi. Uwe sikuja. Sa hiyo ndi utalala. Na hata utalala na utapata usingizi. So amuko ukuja uombe. Ukujo lale hapa church. Ukilala mungu atakuamusha. Wana sifiwe. You know what, one verse in the Bible tells me what? Ato kienda kupanda na onalia. Wenda kupanda ukilia. Bengu itamea na utafuna. Wana sifiwe. Si ukuja na usingisi ulale hapa. Na mungu atakuponya. Mungu atakujibu maombi yako. And the church will grow. Because we want us to grow together. Wana sifiwe. Sio uwanze kuona kama wengine ndiyo waliitu wa serve na wengine apana. All of us have been called to serve. To serve God. Not to serve pastor. Mwithi will only account for your life. Yeah, he has a portion where he is supposed to account. To give a signature before God. Of your life. Lakini usimpatie sababu ya kusaini hiyo kama akona grief. Nasema yae ni nakuwa na mjua tu. E, nili, unajua, oh, ni ule mama likuwa na kapa leo. Maana yeye, haku ha fry your service. And he's supposed to, even today, in normal circumstances, hawa vijano wakitafuta kazi. Nijuzi, Isaac alikuwa na niotuliza, sasa barua zangu ni zatainua nana. Tuka muambia siupeleke pastor mwithi ya stamp. Siuli stamp. Kwa nina atuwezi mustambia? Because, sisi, there is somebody who is supposed to account for his life. Suppose huyo mtoto, hata ujapukua saingina kuasavingi perhaps bila tuna expect. Lakini unajua, at least, at least, ya ya na monanga charge. Kwa hivu atasaini tu. Hata kama ni shingopande alisa, that's a challenge to us. That if we want people to give good reports of our lives, if we want God to give good report of our life, then we must be available. Bwana sifiwe. Sio what you expect to do ushuda wako na uko nyumbani. Pastor atoa ushuda wako na uko nyumbani. Anything happening to you, you want him to pray for you and you are at home. Not that you have a, a small baby, ambaye wezi beba na upepo akaletwa church. Ni hata kuna mtoto hapo na ukuji maombi. Okay. 
So, the Lord promised to be with him. And for sure, he was with him. Because when we read the, the, the next part of the story from chapter 7, you see God instructed him or now he was going to approach the war. We see the Amalekites, the Midianites, and the Eastern tribes, all of them gathered in the valley to fight one tribe, Israel. So the Bible tells us that in the book of Psalms 91, and that is what we are seeing here, that a thousand shall fall, at your right, at your side. And 10,000 shall fall at your right hand. They came to fight them. But God fought their battle. Amen. Because he is promising us that he will be with us. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40, 41, number 40, 41, chapter 41, from verse 10. The Lord promises that he is our God. One thing we should be assured is that the Lord is our God. He is our God. Because we have been given the right to become children of God when we received Christ. Number two, that he is with us. He will not leave us. And that he will strengthen us. Even when we are passing through hard times, the Lord will give you strength. When you are battling with that disease or sickness, the Lord will give you strength. Yeah? But during that time, the Lord will give you strength. He will help you. He will be with you. And he will uphold you with his right righteous hand. It is not just the right hand. It is the right righteous hand. That strong hand that cannot let you go. He will hold you. He will uphold you. He will lift you up. And when he reached this, when he, his eyes were opened and he understood and he saw what the Lord wanted him to do, he gave thanks to God. He offered a sacrifice. And uh, he offered a sacrifice, a burnt offering to the Lord, and he built an altar for the Lord. Amen. So in our lives as Christians, we are supposed to be people full of thanksgiving. In every situation, in every circumstance, give thanks. And then we will build outer, altars for the Lord in our homes. An altar that will speak for you, will speak peace, will speak deliverance, will speak provision and healing in that family. And will allow you to serve the Lord with might and strength. One as if you were. So, Gideon's assignment was given an assignment to see, God wanted to test his obedience and commitment to the, to the assignment, to the task that God was giving him. He gave him an assignment that Sasa, si umeokoka. Sasa okiokoka, what are you supposed to do? Gideon was told, enda huko kwa nyumbe ababako. Kwanza uka, ukafunje hiyo. Mungu sanamu. Na ukifunja hiyo sanamu, utoa hiyo kinjiti kilikuwa kwa nasimamisha huo mungu wao, na uchome hapo, na uope sacrifice hapo. And that is what he did. When you go start to serve, it was not easy for him, but he trusted in the power and the deliverance of the Lord. And when you read that story, the Lord fought for him from the least quarter. Hata hakuambia babake because he was doing the right thing. Lakini babake alimtetea. 
wakati watu walikuja kwa ngadhabu nyingi alimtetea akauliza sasa na nyinyi mtatetea huyu Mungu si kama huyu ni Mungu anjitetee na kila mtu akaelewa because that was a word of wisdom bwana asifiwe and they all went away waiting for their god to fight for himself he never fought for himself because all other gods are idols they have mouth they cannot speak they have ears they cannot hear they have eyes they cannot see mouth they have mm, the legs they cannot walk but our god is mighty to save to deliver and to heal he delivered them he gave them victory and he encouraged them to continue serving today the lord is encouraging us that in his strength we are able to serve him not in our own strength without god the bible tells us in the book of ephesians chapter chapter 3 verse 20 that god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we think or even ask according to the power that worketh within us which power not your power bwana asifiwe i started by telling you the power within you is undynamite that power within you can accomplish a lot if you allow the lord to use it if you allow the lord to 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 if you allow the lord to grow it Bwana asifiwe. If you allow the Lord to let it out, he will be able you will be able to do exploits for the Lord. It is not by might, it is not by power, but by his strength. By this Holy Spirit. The battle that Gideon went to fight was not won because of the many warriors that he had according to him when god gave him favor when god called him he received a favor na wakati aliita hao watu wakwao the clans he thought he was the least they came running wakakuja watu wengi but the lord now had to save them he saved them until they remained a number 300 They started with that that 2000 person wale wanasoma biblia around that 2000 Those were the people who came ready to fight maana walikuwa wameteseka na wakajua tumepata mtu wa kutusaidia kupigana hivi vita they came all of them but the lord looked at them he looked that under that in that group there are those who are fearful there are those who are afraid were cowards were not were not strength, strong they doubted the power of god and god does not work with them, those who doubt he does not work with cowards he does not work with the fearful he separated them until 300 were left and those 300 they were able to finish the, the, the tribes that we have seen we have talked of the amalekites the midianites and other eastern tribes the, perhaps they were unaccountable what walikuwa hapo but they were able to be defeated by only 300 men what is that, that in your life that you think it is impossible to go that this one hata kama wanaongea our god is mightier than that thing he is powerful is ready to save you is ready to deliver you is ready to fight your battle only allow him to are you ready to allow the lord to fight for you in your youth are you ready to allow the lord to fight for you to stand a wending a pure one sio kama ingine tuliona jana nina tunatumiwa this man we, we were with him in another church and uh, somewhere i don't know at in divorced i love yesterday yesterday or the day on friday god he married again another wedding eh? that is not the kind of wedding we want ama ndio mnangoja vijana 
vijana unajua lazima mzimamie Mungu wasichana wako mumzimamie Mungu there is hakuna marriage ni marriage ina Mungu jaribu unajua sasa tukikwambia jaribu it will be bad because when you come to us you will be beaten up na itakuwa mzuri so the only comfort we can give you is to go tell you wait upon the lord he will give you strength you are not waiting because eh, wacha wale wacha waowe hakuna shida wacha waolewe hakuna shida but you wait because you are in cornerstone and you want to see the lord working in your life that when these men here have retired they will not be afraid wataachia congregation nani hawatakuwa kama uhuru sawa so, they will be sure that the congregation as people who can serve the lord bwana asifiwe maana wamewalea wameona usichana wenu wameona ujana wenu wako na ushuda wenu amuta kuwa fisi Bwana asifiwe. So what is that that you, want, you think the Lord cannot do? The Lord is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we seek or even ask according to the power that worketh within us. But the Lord does not force things. He wants you to allow him to work in you. He wants you to allow him to be involved in your life. Do you want to allow the Lord to encourage you to meet you at the point of your need? This morning he is here. He is willing to touch you. He is willing to strengthen you. He is willing to walk with you the journey. Bwana asifiwe. Perhaps I may be talking to people who do not understand. Lakini remember when Gideon was called He allowed God into his life to use him. The same this morning Christ is asking the he is standing at the door of your heart knocking this morning. Will you allow him to come into your life that he may make you a child of his first then the other things will take care. Bwana asifiwe. Or is there anything that you feel you need to let the lord take control of it in this place there is power and the power of god is to save it is to restore to encourage and to strengthen Amen. as we stand up i would request the pastor to come and wait with us in a word of prayer let's stand up and may the lord bless you So you are here you feel you need to to be prayed for you can lift up your hand if you feel you want to receive the lord in your life unja peana maisha yako kwa christ unaweza inua mkono wako na utaombewa unahitaji mujisa unahitaji kunguswa mara ingine unahitaji ngufu mpya bwana yuko hapa akakutia nguvu asubuhi ya leo unaweza inua mkono wako na tunaenda kuomba tukimalizia now reverend tunangoje inua mkono tuombe are you there maybe you have messed your life up and the medians have, are attacking you the lord is calling unto you We have been told that once we repent we have a relationship with our father and he transforms us he begins afresh with us maybe you are going through what you are going this afternoon because of what you allowed the devil to do into your life our god is so merciful our god is so righteous he is willing to forgive us and walk with us we can only experience the power in him only him we allow him to walk with us 
to start all over again with us. He is mighty and able, and he will do it for us. If you are there, kindly raise up your hand as we pray together. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are grateful this afternoon for speaking to us. Thank you, Jehovah Lord, for rebuking us. Thank you for encouraging us, O Lord. And Lord, this afternoon we come before your presence, Lord, with repentance. Father, we ask you to forgive us. In many times, Lord, we have walked in wickedness. And Lord, Father, Midians and Amalekites have attacked us because of our ways. And this afternoon, Jehovah Lord, we repent in Jesus' name. That Lord, you may wash us, that you may cleanse us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That you may stand and start afresh with us in the name of Jesus. We desire to walk with you, King of glory. We desire to have a relationship with you, Jehovah Lord. We thank you that the power you have installed in us is so mighty. And Lord, we can only experience this when we have a close walk with you. Father, we surrender to you this afternoon. We surrender to you, our Lord and our Father, that you may touch us afresh in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Our Father and our God, we thank you for the assurance that you have given unto us that Jehovah, you are walking with us and you are giving us victory in the name of Jesus. And Lord Father, this afternoon, we surrender our needs to you. We surrender our wants to you, Jehovah, because we know you are able, King of glory. Yes, you are able to meet with our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. This afternoon, afternoon Jehovah Lord remember us once more in the name of Jesus and Lord King of glory as you walked with Gideon so we pray in the name of Jesus the Lord you will walk with us in the name of Jesus in every battle that we'll have in life we thank you Jehovah for you are giving us victory in the mighty name of Jesus our Lord and our Father to you we surrender in the name of Jesus, we surrender our marriages, O oh God. We surrender our families, O oh Jehovah. We surrender our children to you, King of glory. And we pray, King of glory, that you shall, dear Lord, walk with them in the name of Jesus. You shall establish us, O oh Jehovah. And to you, Lord, we look up unto Jehovah, that you may continue to establish us. We love you, Jehovah, and we give you honor. Give us the power to continue trusting in you. Give us, dear Lord, love towards you, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Have you been?